excuse me. Good morning. Guys, I need some coffee. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? It is Friday, guys. It is Friday. What we doing? What we doing, guys? It is Friday. I got... So what's the tea? What's going on with Jolie? What's going on with Jolie? He said, um, some updates <clears throat> about Jolie. Nothing's going on. Um, Jolie is not closed down. Happy Friday. No, Jolie is not closed down. Um, there might be a, a minimal amount of surgeries that's going to happen um, within um, the, the rest of the month. And I'm sure um, they'll be back. I actually stopped at Jolie myself because I needed to know. So, shoot, I stopped in the back. I walked in the door. I knocked on the door. I got in the door. So, um, and I asked questions. What's up? What's up? What's up? You know, um, good morning. Um, so, no, Jolie isn't closed down. Um, there, there are some rescheduling that is happening. Um, there are some people that's not there anymore either. Um, and one of them, I'm glad ain't there. Uh, she needed to be gone. Certain coordinator, I won't call her names, but start with an A. <laughs> um, for those that uh, Jolie um, probably know who I'm talking about, but no, um, uh, everything's everything's everything at Jolie right now. Uh, today, what I want to talk about is. Um, First of all, I want to give condolences out to um, what happened over in Collins um, on South Beach. Um, that just kind of kind of shows you how I am actually in inside of my own little world. You're right. Um, sometimes based on the fact that what I'm doing and everything, I'm, I'm like defocused. Um, I really am not a news watcher anyway because I don't like to be on on hype all the time and be scared all the time. You know, because sometimes the news and stuff play on your emotions and, and things and so I, I kind of I'm not a news watcher um and I don't hear see, believe it half I see and I definitely don't believe anything that I hear unless I do my own research and that's the, the number one um thing is do your own research um so I just condolences to those I had family member calling me wanting to know making sure that I'm okay um because they know I'm very close to a uh, South Beach but um, what I want to talk about today is um, too much information, too much information, getting too much information from too many people. And, and I think for me, it, it, it de derails your ability to uh, focus on actually what's happening. Um, for me as a house owner and a house mother, it's very hard to take care of people when you're on the phone with other people and other people are telling you what should be done and, and what should be happening. You know, for me, I feel like if they had so much information, they should have came with you. And maybe y'all should have got a hotel and maybe at that point they should have taken care of you because it makes it really hard for us to be able to manage actually what's going on in the house when you got so many coaches on the outside. So ladies, um, I just um, definitely acts you know especially uh, here you know we definitely have professionals we've definitely done our research and we have consistently seen things that we are doing shows uh, mass improvements you know even from the way that we are doing massages um a lot of people you know ask you know about okay what, what about the massages and so I, again you know we basically talked about the infrared lamp and how it activates your hypnotic drainage system be, uh, because um, your body is creating the fluid that actually tells your body that maybe there's an overflow of fluid um, in you and it automatically opens the drainage system because we know that lipofluid was falsely inserted. So we try to massage in order for the body to wake up and say, hey, there's extra fluid and we need to drain. Um, but by using the infrared lamp, we... we um, we make your body start to, to produce fluids so that your drainage system now is activated naturally based on the fact that your body is creating the fluid and that helps the rest of the drainage system um, process works. And that's why we're seeing uh, tremendous results from ladies and not necessarily needing to have a bunch of massages when they go home. Um, so there was somebody from somebody, somebody wanted to question Things that we're doing because, you know, you're here and you're calling home and you're telling people. So, you know, I'm transparent. I, 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 I let you know. 
you know, and I also say, you know, um, too many cheese and too, not enough Indians, you know, so please, ladies, you know, if in fact you um, feel as though you trust who you decided to go with, um, you trusted your doctor, stop letting people change your mind about your decisions. At the end of the day, your decision is yours. This is a personal journey. And that's what I'm saying, even from the fact of changing your doctor. Stop letting other people's feelings and fears become your foes. Started making you change and question you. You know, um, again, I started to say in this journey, this is a personal journey. And everybody's journey is going to be different. So um, where you getting your information to, too many people shouldn't be able to deposit information in you that makes you change your mind come on this ain't for the weak and this ain't for the cheap okay don't be weak-minded enough to allow people to make you feel certain ways about your choices sometimes i tell people once you identified your doctor and you have dinner get off of social media get off of social media back away you know because they're going to keep your anxieties up and fears high because everybody's got an opinion you know, on what you should be doing. Yeah, I'm a little upset. Because I just think at this point in life, you know, we need to make sure that we um, don't allow other people's opinions to affect the, the way that we manage our lives. Even when it comes to this surgery, everybody just ain't going to like it. Everybody ain't going to think that you need to have it. You know, everybody ain't going to be happy for you. But then everybody got a goddamn opinion. Girl, you should do this. Oh, I heard that they should do this. And girl, why they ain't doing that? Uh, mind your business. Mind your business. That's what Miss Tammy want to say today. Mind your business. You know, um, I'm in this business for a reason, you know, to make sure that I have the best interest at heart. And, and we can't get too much information for people because before you know it, we all crazy and this thing becomes crazy it, it, it's not enjoyable anymore you know it's not fun anymore because now you you know you're nervous before the surgery and now you done had the surgery and now you're trying to heal and everybody won't tell you what you need to be doing to, to, to heal better and now you're confused and fucked up all over again all over again to the point some people be like damn i don't even know why i did this shit because it just seemed like it's just too much yeah, because you got too many people in your business. You got too many people telling you what the fuck you should be doing. And then I ask them, did they have surgery? Half the time, the people that give you all this information ain't even did it they damn self. Ain't even had surgery. But they telling you about what they read and what they heard. And they know somebody that did it. And this is what they did. And you know what? I need you to do me a favor. Mind your business. Mind your business. But good morning, anyway. So, yeah, so ladies, let's, let's make sure that, you know, we, we keep our circle small when it comes to this. This is definitely a personal journey. It's very personal, right? And so we can't let too much in because it will affect how things turn out for us, right? Because before, you know, we've taken all this advice and now we're doing all of this stuff. We're taking all of this different stuff and we're putting all this different stuff on when we need to keep this thing simple. Simplicity is the key. More is not better. The more shit you do, it's not going to bring out better results the more that you, that you do. You know, the less that you're messing with your body, the better. You know, the less things that you're doing, allow the process to work. Don't work the process. Don't start making up different shit, you know, uh, different processes, you know, doing different things, adding all these different things to something that should be so simple. You know, sleep, rest, eat. Compress. Simple. Simple. Sleep. Rest. Eat. Compress. Four things are the major basic things that you need to do. Now, for those of you that um going to become, because some of you are, Faha dependent, Team No Faha, yep, I am on that team. Team No Faha, you don't need that Faha that long. But some of you be in those Fahas and be thinking Faha is giving you your results and you are in Fahas for six months. For what? 
for what? I'm a strong believer, you know, once you compress and you actually come down, you know, and with those fahas, and I think I put up a, a picture of, of the faha that I, I use the most, um, and it actually has um, crosses in the back, and I'll put that up later, um, which actually gives you support in your back as well, along with the zipper. Um, once you go down in those stages, and ladies, there's no stage one, stage two. That's just some shit they made up just to get you to buy more shit. It's whatever your body can, can take. Compression. Back in the days when we started having surgery, nobody said stage one, stage two. You know, we either took our damn faha in because it was too loose and this and that and, and, and all of these stages and this and that. Get in something that's going to work. How much it all depends on you. How strong are you going to be? How dedicated and determined that you are to getting your results. Okay? Are you going to be a punk? Right? Oh, this too tight. Oh, my God. No. Beauty is painful and you want to do this. So you got to take some pain to get the results. Okay? If it's too comfortable and you don't feel uncomfortable, then you ain't doing shit. You ain't compressing. Okay, so get into something that you know that you can compress. Yes, we put compression on, and then we put the, the meter on to see if you're, you're breathing. You know, we put it on your thing. Okay, you see? Okay, baby, you breathing. I can't breathe. No, baby, you breathing. Look, it says you're out at 90%, 99% uh, breathing. It's that because we begin to get weak with this thing, and mentally we got to push ourselves through and say this is what I want this is what I gotta do right so that sleep eat compress now all of a sudden I lost my fourth one somebody type it in what was the fourth thing if y'all was listening I just done got all caught up and I forgot what the fourth thing is but it's four things right and um Making sure that you get in uh, compression. Um, after that, um, I tell the women and they, they leave here with a, a, the butt lifting panty and a, and, a, and a waist trainer. And one of the best waist trainers out there is My Sexy Bubbles 3. Follow Ebony, again, My Sexy Bubbles 3. Um, she's a Dr. Gray doll who um, gives you a journey, her own personal journey with the waist trainer. And um, Body's Bad, Body's Banging. She's from Atlanta. Um, that's my girl. Peace out to Ebony. She's getting married soon. Um, yeah, see you in three days. Can't wait. Super excited. Awesome. And so um, with that, you can also, with extra compression, you can also take the waist trainer and put it on the outside. But what we have to do is we have to manipulate our bodies and get our bodies used to something else other than the uh, faha. Because the minute that you're out of the faha, you feel like a fish out of water. So immediately um, during that time, you want to put on the, the uh, waist trainer and you also want to put on the butt lifting panty just so that it's actually shaping your butt and it's uh, actually also helps shaping your glutes. Some of you guys said you want a much rounder butt, um, you know, um, so again, you know, making sure that, you know, the butt lifting panty actually helps shape your butt. Like we shape a baby's head, we want to shape your body, your butt. So again, start contouring. The times that you're out of your Baja, you probably just want to walk around with the waist trainer. Can um, somebody give me the uh, a butt bra, one of those butt things there, Shannon? The, the, the butt bra and um, a waist trainer. Um, I just want to show everybody uh, what it is that I'm talking about um, for some of those that don't know. I call it a butt bra. Um, basically, but it's a butt lifting panty. Everybody know, you know, you probably was wearing it before you got your BBL. You know, the butt lifting, um, the butt lifting panty. So um, this is it. Okay, so um, the butt lifting panty, and then um, this is the waist trainer. Yeah. So this is it. So most of the time, and so this is the waist trainer. And for those that actually are um, doing the um, the a Spanish thing. Well, baby, this here waist trainer is uh, Ace Bandage on steroids, okay? And it has this in the back so that it helps um, give you the arch. But I'm talking about the stretch. You guys see the stretch? Uh, um, I don't think I have one on, um, but the stretch. But it actually helps, you know, shape your, your butt here and everything. So, um, yeah, 
Yeah. Miss Tammy got booty. She got booty. She got booty. Um, but again, see the stretch here? Okay. It's the stretch here that goes around. And it actually has the two levers that you pull, but it stretches. As you go down, this waist trainer goes with you. I think it's one of the best on the market. Again, um, I have them, but you can also purchase them from My Sexy Bubbles 3. She has now her own line. Um, I'm talking about uh, get rid of the, the wrinkles and dimples that you're getting from the from the Ace Bandage and get this Ace Bandage type style waist trainer. It's, ace, it's an Ace Bandage on steroids. You literally can almost damn near wrap it totally around your body as you want the extra compression. I have one now, LOL. Okay, good. You ordered it? Awesome. Yeah, so again, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm about um, um, helping my sisters out, but if you got something that I think that, you know, and I use it and it works because, you know, you got that shit with everything always rolling up and all of that stuff, you know, and you buying all this stuff and it ain't working, you know. Um, yeah, so um, my sexy bubbles three on Instagram, Ebony Teller to another level. I uh, referred you, um, but again, this waist trainer is the bomb.com. That's the back, yeah, it's the bomb.com. And I'm talking about the elasticity in it that allows you to uh, squeeze um, this and one of these. I'm sure you guys seen it. This here is like the boy short version, you know, of it. But you guys seen the panties. But I'm, I'm actually using the boy shirts because the material is uh, definitely better. Um, it don't hurt. Um, I'm not a thong person, you guys. I'm sorry. I, I just think thongs is just, hey, see it. Let's get it off. Let's get busy. Like, girl, I'm not with just walking around with some shit up my ass. I'm sorry. I, it ain't me. But. I have to get, uh, you know, I, I have to get comfortable with them, but um, I actually uh, use them myself just for better shaping, for better shaping of the glutes, but also to train myself out of getting out of my faha so I don't become faha dependent. You know, I have somebody who's four months uh, post-op, and she's like, uh, I need another faha. For what? If Girl, if you don't put that faha down... Okay, and, and as far as taking fajas in, um, first of all, compressions can't be cut. You lose the total compression. Team no thongs? Yeah, I can't do the thong thing, girl. But, um, and then when you take them in, they don't still fit the same, right? They, they kind of go in and pinch your sides and, oh my God, it's just uncomfortable. With the, we did that, been there, done that. Okay, we were, we were the, the, the pioneers back in the days with, you know, taking fajas in and all of that shit. Um, for those that have mastered that, that shit hurts even worse. It just never, it just never feels right after you alter them. They don't, they don't feel right anymore, you know. So it's better just to find you a good one, an inexpensive one, and go ahead and... Um, can I get a, on one of my fajas, a picture of one of those fajas, um, Shannon? Um, get you a, a good faja and... Um, and stick with it. Stop changing names and brands and stuff. You know, get your body used to one thing. Just like you got a, your own stylist, your own braider, your own barber or whatever. Stop switching up your fajas. Stick with a brand and just carry it through. You know, carry it through. You know, again, these are some of one of some of the, the best fajas. You know, also with the zipper. And as you can see, it has a compression across the back when for those that talk about uh, those back rows and stuff um, this this faja actually helps um, shape the back rows as well um, and then of course uh, you guys seen the picture of one one young lady uh, wearing it with the um, the butt it actually helps shape the butt underneath and then of course the zipper is there without that but squeeze your butt what do you do with a faja that gives enough compression but squeezes your butt too much Okay, um, I don't know, um, and I have to do this all the time uh, about my butt being squeezed and the, the misconception that a faja is killing your fat or your fat cells uh, because the faja is too tight. The only thing that a, fa a type 2 faja really does is probably going to give you um, a, fa a faja burn. 
right? It's going to be too tight and it's going to it's going to squeeze you and it's going to give you a fire burn. Um, there's a myth behind fire has actually got anything to do with you losing your fat. Um, too tight around the butt. Um, if it has mesh or if it has um, anything like this, um, a little compression actually helps activate. Boom. When you take it off, like boom, there it goes. Um, I had to do a demonstration with one young lady who thought once she got in this faha and the faha she got, oh, my butt looks smaller. Okay, stop looking at shit. So I said, your butt didn't go anywhere. Your faha just changed. Okay, so now you're uncomfortable because it don't look the same. So now I had to put her back on this other one to tell her, baby, look, all I did was change your faha. And it just, your butt didn't go anywhere. The faha just changed. So I put her back on the other faha, and it, and so it was it was the simplicity. Like baby, th nothing happened to your butt. A little compression on your butt helps activate the cells. Okay, it helps you with your fluff. Some of those guys want to say, okay, when is my butt gonna get softer? When is it gonna, you know I me? Mean? Okay, no, you don't want to walk with that shit. It's just stretch. But a little compression on your butt is not gonna kill your fat, babes. It's not sitting on your ass smothering them adding pressure pressure like weight okay and you got to do that um a little bit more than just one time or two times either to really see a difference but not eating right is the number one thing that's gonna affect the way that your your fat transfers or holding your fat that is the number one thing you guys be focused on the wrong damn thing you guys be focused on the wrong thing. Be focused on what you're eating and, and it, it's you're feeding your body energy and making sure you get enough rest, okay? And, of course, compress. You know what I'm saying? Okay? All of that shit about that, you know, uh, Faha uh, took my hips and my Faha was too tight. Stop. Material clothing shit like that. Don't do that. Your ass either laid on your damn side while you were asleep in your faha, okay? And when you woke up, you was you was on your damn side and on your hip. And that's what took your damn uh, killed your fat because you were sleeping on your side. You was putting pressure on your hip. No clothing, no material does that. So stop being panicky when you feel that your faha, if it fits, it fits. Sometimes a little compression helps with your process. So compress. Okay, don't be a punk. Don't be some, oh, it's too tight. Yeah. Oh, it's too tight. You know. Um, Shannon, can you um, talk to Mel, ask him what he needs? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, ladies, so I just wanted to give you guys that tab bit on um, um, getting too much information, um, dispelling the myths about the information that you get and please make sure your circle is small in this journey that you're having or you will have a bad journey it's one thing about being stressed out up until the surgery but then after the surgery you just stressed out again on what to do how to maintain you know different things like that you know um your your, your body and two of the maintenance things is giving yourself a good uh, waist trainer and a butt lifting panty those are two things to maintain your shape and, and, and maintain in between uh, the faha so that your body doesn't come, become dependent on the faha. We want to switch it up. Maybe after you get home, maybe two hours a day, start walking around in a waist trainer and your butt lifting panty just to kind of wean yourself off the faha. I feel like my butt is shrinking too much. What should I do? Um, that baby, it depends on uh, what stage you are in um, because there's a stage that the fluff will happen. Okay, and the fluff happens by, it looks like your butt disappears on you. Okay, and I'm going to post that, um, it's an article on it. And somebody sent it because I had a doll who was really um, in the bed so depressed. She felt that her butt was gone. And I had to share that with her, um, the, the article about the, the fluff fairy and how that happens. And, and at times it'll seem like your butt has disappeared and then all of a sudden it balloons back out. Um, that usually happens anywhere between three to four months, okay? Um, six to seven weeks, see? Okay, six to seven weeks. So you're, 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 you're within that, that time frame, 
okay? And then you will start to see it fluff out, okay? So six to seven, eight weeks, yeah, yeah. So right now, if you know that you're doing everything, you're eating properly and everything that you're doing, I wouldn't be too concerned. I'd say wait for it. Your fluff is on it, on its way. Okay, baby? So don't don't panic. As long as you know. And that's one of the things that's being honest with yourself. Okay? And then you're going to wake up one day and you're like, God damn, where did that come from? Okay? As long as you know and trust the process. As long as you know that you have not sat on your butt, that you've been eating properly. You know what I'm saying? You've been adequate rest. And most of all, you've been drinking um, fluid. And then you've been keeping be people out of your business. Telling you what to do. All right? All right, ladies. I have um, massages to do this morning. I got a line of people waiting um, to, to get their massages. Um, again, um, am I my sister's keeper? Yes, I am. Until um, tomorrow, Miss Tammy, I'm out. Yeah, y'all, I keep doing this because it's time to do my nails. And then I'm down here in um, Miami where they do the soak off. Um, no, we do the take off. And I'm taking off because they take too long to soak my shit off. And I ain't got time to sit there that damn long. So I am on the trying to take these shits off so I can go get them done. But I, you know me, I'm very transparent. So it ain't about the beauty. You know, we know what we can do when we do it. But it's all about just coming, being real, and being transparent. But I be like, oh, Miss Tim, you keep showing that damn nail. Yep, it's off. I want the rest of them off too. But anyway, till tomorrow. Peace out, Miss Tammy. All right. Thank you.